before we get into, you know, COVID-19 pandemic related news, of course, the big sad story of the week is the passing of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, now the conversation in Washington is, of course, moving towards a replacement to the Supreme Court. Um, how might this affect the work of Congress um, that they have to get done over the next couple of weeks? I, I don't think it's going to affect the, you know, funding the government, uh, the so-called continuing resolution or CR that would avoid a government shutdown. Um, they, they seem to have reached agreement. Um, they voted in the House and, and they'll uh, get that out of the Senate. The president will sign it. I think the real impacts uh, show up down the road a little bit. In particular, there's the potential for a decision on the, the court case against the Affordable Care Act and the, the constitutionality of the individual mandate. Um, if, in fact, the court would strike down the individual mandate and rule that it's not severable from the rest of the law, then the entire uh, ACA would be invalidated. And then Congress would have some real work to do. I mean, mm -hmm. there is no way uh, that we could imagine simply getting rid of it. Um, there, there are lots and lots and lots of things in the ACA that people have come to rely on that are built into the healthcare system that are popular in a bipartisan fashion. And there will be enormous pressure then for Congress to quickly uh, put back in place those provisions. And, and so that that's real work.